My name is Akim Benamer. I'm an interventional cardiologist and I work at Massy, Aubervilliers and uh, at Suren, Hôpital Foch. Uh, I do more than uh, 500 uh, angioplasty a year and that's my favorite stent, which is the biggest in the world. So the strategy will be to stent the left main uh, and going to uh, the LAD with a jail wire on the circumflex and then we will open the strut of the circumflex and change of course uh, the, the wire uh, before. So let's go to uh, stenting of the LAD and the left main. One important thing will be to cover the ostia of the left main. So for that we will use stand vessel Vs. As you can see here, we are on the ostium with the marker of the balloon. But maybe with the stand uh, vessel Vs it will be more easy to see really the stand inside the vessel. So let's do a stand vessel Vs. Okay, like this, the stand vessel vis is ready, okay, before two seconds we inject inside the vessel and we will see inside the vessel the position of the stent clearly with the position of the ostium and the guiding catheter. As you can see here, it's more precise than the, the, with the angio only you can uh, see the position of the, of the stent. Inflation of the balloon and the stent deployment. It's moved for uh, 16, 18. So the diameter of the stent is the diameter of the LAD, not the diameter of the left main, of course. So we will do after that a pot, a proximal optimization technique to impact well the stent on the left main. But the size of the stent, this is very important, the size of the stent is the, the size of the distal part of the bifurcation. So at that step, it is important also to do a stent vessel vis to check the bifurcation, the distal bifurcation of the left main because we have to cover the carena to do uh, a good pot. As you can see here, the uh, balloon is too proximal. We don't cover the the carina so here we are we have a, a better place okay okay here we can clearly see the carina with uh, uh, the stand so let's do the pot at this uh, location okay go Stand vis only to see the ostium and to see if the stent is well open. The stent vis is ready. Okay. Okay, you can clearly see here that the stent is not open at the ostium. So I will get a little bit back with the balloon remove the guiding catheter and do now the pot on the ostium of the left main. That's really a good uh, uh, image and the result. Well, the stent is very well open as you can see here and uh, the proximal part of the, of the stent, so the ostium of the left main. That's an important thing to uh, well open the stents, to reduce the risk of thrombosis, to reduce the risk of uh, major adverse cardiac events in the follow-up of this patient. We have to cross now the, 
the strut to go to the circumflex, we crossed uh, with the balloon the, the struts of the left main. So we are going to open the strut of the circumflex now. Twelve. Okay, deflation. So now we are ready to do the stand vessel Vs to check the position of the stand inside the artery. As you can see here on the v stent uh, uh, Vs, we have a, a small protrusion of the stent inside the left main. And here we can see clearly the position of the stent inside the vessel, inside the left main. And uh, in my opinion, it's a good position to put the stent. So before uh, putting the stent, I will uh, put a balloon inside the, the, the LAD to do uh, the kissing balloon after uh, the stent implantation. We're gonna do a stent vis to see if the stent is well deployed. Only with a balloon, which is easier to do a good image of the stent. As you can see, the result uh, is good. We are covering the ostium of the circumflex and the left main seems to be good. To be sure that the, the left main is well done, we have to do a repot. We can clearly see that the stent is uh, well open. On the left main, on the circumflex, on the proximal LED. And we will finish with a spider view, which is a classical view for the left main. Okay, spider view. As you can see here, the perfect result on the circumflex also, the left main and the, the LED. So as you can see here on these 10 vessel Vs, it was, very, it was very useful to be uh, very precise to put the stent on the ostium of the left main. And then what is very interesting also is this stent vessel Vs to be really very precise to put the second stent in the circumflex to cover the ostium and to do not have a lot of crush inside the left main with the, this tent. So uh, it was really uh, useful to, to minimize the, um, the protrusion of the stent inside the left main and to cover the ostium. Clinical challenges for coronary PCI are first of all bifurcation cases, second point is uh, osteal lesions and the last one is BVS use. In case of uh, bifurcation lesions, sometimes we have to use two stents and to be sure that we are covering the ostium of the side branch and to be sure that they are not, we don't have a lot of overlapping inside the, the first and the main one, uh, it is very useful to use uh, uh, stent vessel Vs for uh, osteal lesions. So you must be very precise in, uh, in the positioning of the stent. With the stent Vs we can uh, clearly see the stent and especially the stent expansion in the coronary artery. The benefits for the patient is the, the rejection uh, of uh, maces because we all know that the uh, uh, stent which is not well expanded will have more restenosis and more uh, thrombotic events in the, in the follow-up. So with this PCI assist, we improve and we simplify our practice of complex angioplasty in the cat lab.